In this episode, we are going to see Artisan Console. And what is that? Actually, we are going to create our own Artisan commands. So with that, I'm your host Sarthak and this is the channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. So what I mean with the creating new command. So let's go to terminal and so uh, let's try php artisan and hit enter and you can see these are various list of commands we have used there are many commands migrate command we have used list command we have used and many commands we have used but we want to create our own command and the important thing is we want to list that command in this list so to create a new command there is a command <laughs> it sounds interesting but when you go here and on the make you can see it has make command so let's just see how it's look like so firstly I will say php artisan and then help and make command so it's now giving the name so we must provide the name optional is the command that we will see later and these are the normal things okay so for creating a new command we need yeah so now php addison make command and the command name let's say hello so hello is created and when i go to my sublime you can see now in the console folder inside app you can see now commands folder is here and here you can see only hello.php is here let's create one more called hello2 and when I go here hello2 is also here so let's just delete this one we don't need this okay so this is the structure of this command we will see this what these things are but before that let's see here you can see we have created the command php addison make command but there is one more way of creating a new command so for that when i go to my kernel.php inside the console at the bottom you can see it has protected function commands which is getting from route.console.php we have used uh, web.php of this route folder this we have used many time but now you can see it's console.php is here and here let's just delete this here you can see it's having one command called inspire so let's just find that command do we have that command and yes we have this command let's just run that command inspire it's in interesting inspire and it is quality rather than quantity that matter okay so you can see it's having a uh, new coat and lovely coat we have and its description is also displaying an interesting coat so in this way similarly just copy and paste this one you can see we can create a new command let's type our hello to command here and this will what it will do it will give info and info is this command is by console okay and description is our own own command okay let's just go and php artisan only and now you can see when I go at the top and we can see hello2 is here our own command and when I run hello2 oops that should be capital H hello2 this command is by console and you can see it's here so in so in these two ways we can create new commands but you can see when I go here we have created hello command also but that is not present here only hello2 is here because when you create a command with this console then you don't have to register your command but when you create command like this in the commands uh, folder you have to create you have to register that command so to register that command we will go to kernel.php file you can see it has protected commands and array so here I will give the name so that is commands 
slash hello and colon colon class okay so what oops yeah this is array so we don't have to give anything so what I have done here I have given the folder name and the hello uh, command file the hello.php because we are al already on the name space of app console so app console but next is command and hello so we have given save this file go to this run php artisan only and when i go to the top and our hello command is not here what happened let's just go to hello once more so hello is here and you can see the actual name of command is command name so we have to type here hello save again once more and at the top you can see we have this hello command here so this replies that we have to give the name here and the description here so if I say this is make command command that means the command created by make command okay so when I run this again at the top my new command which says this is make command command <laughs> okay so you can see we have two ways of creating commands and in the next episode we are going to see how we can actually use these command in the real life how we can get the parameters how we give the parameters there are various things so we will meet in the next episode till then don't forget to subscribe like bitfilms on facebook twitter and instagram and support me on patreon.com so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye